Okay, so what I'm going to work on for a little bit is showing you how to make attachments to your slabs. And the first one I'm going to show you is how to make attachments with stiff pieces of clay. And what I've done is I've measured out the little edges to my house and I let them sit on the side to stiffen up a little so they weren't all floopy and warpy and they'll support themselves. And I rolled out a little sheet of clay. I cut these to size, angled uh, where I want the roof line to come in and I let I set them aside for a little bit to stiffen up. They're leather hard so they're kind of about the same as the slab itself. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this where I want to put them on and roughly about there and I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to use my fork and I'm going to score this edge up really nice like so and wherever I make my attachment I'm going to do it on the slab as well wherever you stick things together they must be scored like this to stick this is really important the clay when it's wet will stick together but when it's uh, uh, but when it dries it'll pop apart now we're not firing these necessarily but if we do we want to build these just like we uh, have every intention of firing them so I'm going to get both of these scored really well I kind of lay them back to the side where I know where they're going to go and then I'll stick these on like so and I'm really tearing this up this is really important you know that when you score this it's going to make all those little particles I talked about will fit together nicely like so okay and then I'm going to get a little bit of water and again I don't need a ton I got a nice little brush here and I'm just going to get these wet and some people call this slip or clay glue or whatnot but I'm uh, I'm making slip in place so I'm kind of making goo and I'm just going to stick this down really good and gently firmly forcefully push it into place until there's no more air bubbles coming out and once I get this stuck on I'm going to grab a little bit of soft clay and I'm going to make a little worm coil and wherever I attach something I want to reinforce the clay so I'm going to go around this edge and I'm just going to pack some clay in here now I'm you know I'm kind of wiping out the the lines of my drawing but that's okay I know what's going to go on here so I'm going to stick that on it's really important to reinforce this edge and if you're really tricky you could take a little stick or you can take your rib and you can go over these edges and really clean them up and make them nice you don't have to do so, so great on the inside because no one will ever see it but I kind of have the mindset 
that if I know it's there it'll bug me and then I'm just kind of blending this together and reinforcing that edge and if you do this properly it's really strong let's see if, if it's going to make a liar out of me see I can pick that whole slab up now and it's not coming apart and then I'm going to do the very same thing for this other side a little bit of water like so I'm going to stick this in place gently but firmly push it down till there's no more air bubbles like so get a little soft clay I make a little worm coil in my hand if I roll it out on canvas or on a piece of paper or something that clay is going to dry out so I make sure to put it on roll it out with my in my hand if it gets dried out it won't smear and mush so good and then I can't reach on the inside and if you remember I talked about your tools and the stick becomes an extension of your thumb so I can reach inside of here and I can use this stick to place that coil down on the inside reinforce it and I can go around and get this other edge really nicely like so I'll go around here go around there now I can't get in the inside real good with my finger or the rib to smooth that so I'm just going to use the edge of the stick and blend this together very nicely and then I want to put a bottom on the house which I have this little piece right here to fit but when you go to butt up an edge like this you don't want to have the seam way out in the on the edge so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bevel it so it fits so I'm going to cut this on an angle like so and that on an angle and then I'm going to cut this to match and I'm just kind of mimic mimicking the edges where it's going to go so I'm going to cut this down like this and then cut this one down like so and then I'm going to cut these off and bevel them now the reason I do this is because I don't want that seam for the corner out on the edge so now I need to score up all these edges so I'm going to score the bottom and then I'll score the bottom that way I know which one I'm scoring to and I'll score these edges and you can see I'm making lots of little bitty crumbs and stuff so you want to make sure that you're in a good place that you can clean up in all these crumbs you know put some paper down and then I'm going to score up this edge really nice a little bit of water on everything okay hopefully I'm picking up where I left off my batteries went dead so anyway I beveled these corners now I'm pushing them into place and then I can now they're not as nice as if I stuck the edges but what I can do is take a knife and run down the edge and clean it up okay second set of batteries so I'm gonna clean up all my corners and edges with my knife make it better better nice and pretty 
And the nice thing is when you push those corners together, your seam is right on this edge. So if it cracks, you can fill that really easily. But again, it's real important to reinforce all your joints. And I'm going to reach inside of here with a little stick and reinforce that really nice with a little wormy coil. And I mean, I have a whole collection of little tiny sticks for this. An old uh, half a wooden clothespin will work really good. You know, even uh, your knife that you have, your wooden knife you have will work. Your fettling knife that came in your toolkit will work too. I mean, my knife I have here is 40 years old. It's sharp as a razor. Not so good for this. But I can reach in with my wooden stick and the extension of my thumb and just kind of pack that coil in like so. I'm going to smear a little extra on, reinforce that edge, and then I've got a little top with a beveled edge to match this angle. I can stick this on and it's going to have that kind of butted up edge but it'll be okay I'll hang this off of here like so and I just score this up very nice I'll score up these sides Like so, a little more water, and then gently but firmly I'm going to push this into place. And I got it overhanging on the edge a little bit, but that's okay. I can take my knife and just kind of cut that off nice and clean so it matches the remaining part there and then I'll roll out another piece of clay let it stiffen up and I'll put on the roof along here like so so that's making a stiff attachment in the next video I'm going to show you is how to use soft clay and attach it okay good enough for now